I asked my Discord for 10 golds and put them head to head in a custom game. But what I didn't tell them is that I placed a secret smurf on one of the teams. Can you guys guess who it is? After 24 hours, I'll drop a pinned comment answering who it was. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, here we are with round number one. Remember to place your guys' bets down in the comments on who you guys think the smurf player is in this game. Right now, we're actually gonna have Valk take out Envy. That is crazy. IQ going down really, really fast. The spawn peak looks like coming out from Valk. Great shots by them. And that's gonna make things a 5v4 for the orange team now. We're gonna have Penjamin running in towards classroom right now. And wow, what a great shot taking down Valk. That is the player who just got the spawn peak on Envy, allowing the blue team to refrag now. Two minutes left, so plenty of time for the attack to try to make some sort of a push here. We're going to have DK trying to push in through bottom white. He sent out the Dokubi call, trying to clear his vicinity, and is now going to be pushing inside. Exploit on the big window. You can see that pig is on the mirror right now. So they've got the mirror set up. That could be a problem here for the attackers. Benjamin flashing into attic, going to do an aggressive rush in a 360, hopping in the window, barely missing the smoke or the mute, excuse me, mute pushing up, unable to grab the kill onto buck as he falls down. Hungry hippo going to go down as well though. And another kill getting picked up for the blue team here as Spoit goes down. No more Jaeger for the orange team. And plenty of trades coming out here. I'm actually pretty impressed. Both teams able to trade out each other fairly efficiently. 3v3, minute and 20 seconds left. Now, these mirrors are still going to be a problem for the blue team. They're going to have to try to push straight into these mirror windows. Spotted, playing on the big window here. Just trying to hold the trophy door as he's unsure of exactly where all of the blue players are playing. Ace is going to drone him out, forcing a zombie to try to reposition. And we're going to have Benjamin try to rush up the stairs. But Pig flanks from bottom white, able to pick up one. Mute picks up another kill as well. Buck able to refrag though. And finally, Tarzan able to take out Benjamin. First round goes to the orange team. We'll take a look at the scoreboard here. You guys can see we have Benjamin on top for the blue team. Tarzan on top for the orange team. Remember, place your guys' bets down in the comments who you guys think the Smurf is. All right, here we go with round number two. I forgot to show the ban, so I'll show that to you guys really quickly. For the blue team, we've got Ying and Fenrir. For the orange team, we have Thatcher and Capkin. I'm not sure about the Capkin ban, but I'll let you guys, you know, determine what you will from that. Looks like the blue team's going to be trying to push through Bunker right now. We do have Spoit trying to contest that on the elbow right now. He's trying to grab at least one kill here onto magic but he's unable to do so so far c4 goes out from tarzan but unfortunately for him that is going to miss but that is going to cause the two bunker players to go ahead and rotate off trying to instead push for tower and ooh, dk almost missed that beam could have taken a lot of damage there but fortunately for him he did indeed hit it valk gonna pick up one kill onto penjamin very nice he's gonna get naded out though forcing him to rotate iq at the top of white stairs trying to get a trade here but he's not going to be able to valk able to pick up another kill now and now dk gonna try his hand at picking up this kill on the solace player but unfortunately for the blue team they're not pushing together they're all trying to peek the, the solace one by one dk comes in for the swing inside of kitchen and he's going to pick that kill up valk goes down the solace roamer finally being taken out 3v4 now for the blue team magical looks like they are lagging potentially disconnected who knows sitting on a cated hatch taking almost half their hp you don't see that one too often now hippo gonna be trying to push down through the tower stairs looking for any sort of frags but instead he's just gonna get shot down from spoit who's just playing these head holes inside of the bomb site and you can see that all of orange team is pretty stacked up but Magical is going to try to fix that problem as he walks down the main stairs, grabs one kill onto the player playing on the mirror window. DK pushing up inside of Freezer. All of the blue players are a little bit lit. And the orange team does have the Doc who's going to pick up a kill. Going for his second now. The down. Kate able to pick that up. Hungry Hippo, the last remaining player. He grabs one kill onto the Doc. 1v2. He's on one health. Can he clutch this up? Tarzan and Marco. Versus the 1 HP Ash. 
Who is going to be able to pick this round up? Mute's trying to go for the aggressive swing in the hallway. This could be exactly what Ash needs. She just needs to get one kill here. That way she can start focusing on the mirror window. But no, Tarzan going to pick up that last frag as Ash is trying to clear that mirror window. And another good round coming out from the orange team. We'll take another look at the scoreboard. Magical still on, on top for the blue team as well as Benjamin. Two kills for each of them. Valk on top for the orange team, three and two. Tarzan, three and zero oh as well. Remember, place your guys' bets down in the comments. Let's see how many of you are actually right. Let's see if you guys can guess who the Smurf player is. All right, here we go with round number three. Unfortunately, one of the players on the orange team just disconnected. We're gonna play this round out as it's already started. And the orange team is already up 2-0 anyways. So giving the blue team this little advantage, I think is fine, especially because Oregon is such a defender-sided map. And this will be Orange Team's last round on defense. So if they want to pick up that 3-0 lead and head on to match point, they're going to want to try to win this specific round. It's going to be difficult, though, as they only have four players. You can see that Valk is playing inside of Small Tower, and Thermite's just going to hop straight into the window. That's DK. Entry fragging on Thermite. How often do you see that? Hitting the teabag and the body shoot as well. Going for the Thermite above the dining wall. Making sure he can open that up now. Envy trying to drone in through Master. But Tarzan's going to pick up a good kill onto Hippo. Another kill coming out from Benjamin. The trades are coming out left and right right now. Another kill as well. DK picks up one onto Tarzan. And Envy picks up the final one onto Pig. What a great round for the blue team. Finally showing some like real strength here. Taking a look at the scoreboard. Tarzan leading the orange team 4-1 and one right now. Could be a little sus. Who knows? DK on top for the blue team, three and two. Our two bottom place players, Envy, one and two on the blue team, and Macro, one and one on the orange team. All right, we were going to rehost, but the orange team says that they want to play this round out on the 4v5. Unfortunately, the orange team, I believe one of their players' power went out or something like that, as they have completely just disconnected. So we're going to play this final round out. And then we are going to re-host. But either way, it's going to be a challenge for the orange team as they are on attack now. But they still do have the 2-1 lead. You can see Valk is outside of the big window trying to pick up this kill on Decade. He's going to grab at least one shot onto him, bringing him down to about 75 health. DK inside of big tower. Trying to hold this down. I don't believe anybody from the orange team is pushing this at the moment, though. Macro, or Marco, attempting to push in through big or uh, master right now probably going to try to open up the main wall you can see that valk is still on the big window trying to get the kill on the valk but it's going to be the blue team picking up all these kills three big kills from the blue team leaving only one player left on the orange team blue team is really trying to bring this game back and now can marco clutch up the 1v5 there are three lit players on the blue team right now but will it be enough? Marco is on full HP. And it looks like he might catch one off guard right now. He will. DK goes down. The Warden player has fallen. And now Marco only has to find a few more. And he's got plenty of time here as well. A minute and a half. He can bait and try to find these picks. He's going to be patient now as he's just waiting to find anybody who's going to swing. Possibly going to try to drone and get some info as well. He can see that... Envy on the smoke is playing inside of Trophy at the moment. He's going to shoot out that drone. And now Marco with no drones outside of the front door. Just trying to bait these players into swinging him. Because he knows it's going to be a tough situation to win. So far though, they're not wanting to give it to him. But Cade is magical. Swings the front door. And well, that'll be the last thing he swings in this round. As he is down. Envy trying to look through these floor holes, seeing if the ace might potentially walk into the front door, but he's actually rotated in through the garage instead. 35 seconds left, and now Marco is pressed for time. He's going to have to try to figure out a way to clutch up this round in the next 25 seconds. So far, though, I'm not sure if he even knows where anybody is. Is There's definitely no one in meeting when the bomb site is top floor. I don't know why anyone would be there with 15 seconds left. 15. Nevertheless, he's going to be clearing it. And now, Envy, here's the beeper going off. He knows that Marco's pushing up through the main stairs. A smoke grenade comes out, stopping his push. And now he's watching through the floor holes. Pretty smart play here from Envy. 
using some good game sense to try to figure out where Marco is going to be pushing to. But unfortunately for both players, nobody able to pick up those kills. And that's going to be the blue team picking up yet another round. And we're going to go ahead and rehost so we can get our fifth player back in here. Attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb. All right, here we go with round number five. Remember that we did rehost, so the scoreboard has been reset. But either way, we do have 5v5 once again. Jay somehow going to be taken down to about 1 HP. I'm not really sure how that even happened. I believe it was when Benjamin ran out with the Bosch G. Either way, though, it's looking like a bunker take coming from the orange team as they're going to be pretty much all stacked outside of here. You can see that DK is back inside a big tower. Looks like one of his favorite spots to play, to be honest. Benjamin with the Bosch G trying to grab a kill out onto the player in bunker, but he's going to get taken out by Valk. Great shots by them. DK able to immediately refrag, though. The refrags coming out from both teams have been fairly impressive. I can't lie to you. Valk still trying to push in through the backside bunker here, trying to see what sort of angle they can get. And now DK holding down the big tower still. It looks like they're going to be getting droned out right now as Pig is trying to push in through T1. I believe DK has set up all of tower, though. You can see the wall is open as well, so it's going to be tough for them to actually take. Valk's going to get taken down. Great shot by Envy as they are sitting behind the B-bomb. Trying to get aggressive here on the E-box. You can see that Jay is now inside of meeting. It looks like they might be trying to get this hatch, but with only the ace, it's going to be... A lot of utility to get that one hatch open. You can see a great angle coming out from DK. Really like this positioning coming out from him. Completely holding down this big tower. The only way they're getting him out of here is if they repel on T3, which it looks like they are not going to do. But to be honest, it is a 3v3 on site if they completely ignore him. Either way, though, Envy still on the B-bomb, just trying to hold down these angles. 55 seconds left, and... Envy still has all three of his smokes. Magical still has a C4 for the plant as well. But it looks like Big has already come down into E-Box. Look at this. He's just proning straight in. I'm not sure if any of the players on the blue team are aware of this right now. Hungry is going to be on cams. And it looks like he just spotted that the, the Jackal is there. He misses the C4 though, fortunately for Pig. Only 30 seconds remaining though. You can see that Jay is trying to push in through the front side at the moment. Envy trying to deny that. 20 seconds left, and Envy's finally going to throw his first smoke grenade. He'll likely take Jay down. He cannot even take a single tick of damage from that. Pig going to be trying to walk in through B. He's going to get taken out by Hippo, who's on that pixel angle. DK able to pick up another frag as he flanks down the tower stairs. Marco able to pick up one kill onto Hippo. Good refrag, but there's no time remaining, and he's not able to pick up any more kills good round there from the blue team you can see the defense is really just reigning supreme here on oregon all right we're loading into round number six here and this is a big round as the orange team is in a losing position right now it's match point for the blue team three to two at the moment and they are on defense now keep in mind defense on oregon this map is very defender sided if you have defense you're more likely to win than if you're on attack but Keep in mind that they are on the third bomb site, and the third bomb site is always the hardest bomb site to hold. So let's see if Envy and his team are going to be able to hold down the kitchen and dining bomb site. You can see we've got a few players pushing outside of big window at the moment. Valk able to take the small tower. It looks like they're probably going to try to thermite the top of the wall. They don't even need to actually. There's just nothing on it, so. Valk's going to be able to just open up that wall, no problem. Pig already inside of showers, and wow, he's going to pick up an easy kill onto Envy, or excuse me, onto Magical. Envy's going to go down from Valk as well, who's all the way back inside of Small Tower. Pushing into Dining now. The blue team, or excuse me, the orange team does have the site, and Valk is going to be trying to plant right now. DK on the Solus can't do anything to stop it, but Benjamin might be able to as he picks up a quick kill onto Jay. Hippo in no position to help his team either. He, the blue team just not in any position to really counter this plant or try to push onto it whatsoever. Two players holding the Solus upstairs. You can see one's going to hop out the big window. Buck going to take down 
DK. That's Tarzan. Benjamin with another kill as well. Coming in with the boss G. Gonna miss that first shot. The door is castled, so he can't walk in. And now, with Tarzan picking up that other kill, it's gonna be Benjamin in a 1v3, but he's not gonna be able to pick that up. And fortunately, for the orange team, they're gonna pick that round up. And we are going to be in overtime now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a barn burner on our hands. It is 3-3 overtime. You can see that the orange team all spawning street side at the moment, trying to do a master take from the looks of it. DK back inside of the big tower. This is his domain. Benjamin still on that boss G, trying to find a kill here on the big window, but I don't believe anyone is going to be there. Falk droning in through trophy, trying to find if there's anybody playing in armory. Looks to be clear for him though, so I believe his team is going to try to push in and grab this wall. Tarzan on the thermite, so they will be able to grab that. There is no denial coming out from the blue team. So they're going to be able to get that wall, no problem. There is a mute actually, but I do not believe that's going to be a big problem, especially with Pig below. He'll be able to shotgun that mute jammer off the wall, no problem. Envy inside of attic along with magical the mute and the smoke duo trying to hold down this attic the best that they can some flashes are coming out and we're gonna see tarzan opening up that main wall to master foul copping back on cams trying to find the remaining blue team players big gonna grab a kill is hungry immediately refrags i'm telling you guys the refrags from this game are completely insane you don't even see this in ranked this is crazy Minute and 30 seconds left on the clock. Some flashbangs are coming out. Envy playing inside of Bolo. Almost picking up a nice shot onto Tarzan. Putting him onto extremely low HP. But he's in a bad spot. Getting pushed by multiple players right now. Chalk on out, but it won't be enough. Tarzan grabs that kill. Actually, Hippo's team killing. Another kill for Hippo, though. He picks up the, the one dig onto Valk. Tarzan goes down as well. And now it's a 3v2. Make that a 2v2. As Marco is able to immediately refrag. Guys, these refrags, I feel like I'm watching Pro League right now. Jay on the big window trying to hold down these angles while Marco pushes in through Trophy at the moment. You can see that we've got one player top white, one inside of Kids. The Kids player is going to go down as Jay's patient on that big window and is able to find the frag through that wall. And now it's just DK, one of the best players so far for the blue team. But is it going to be enough? It will not as Marco is holding the cross Beautifully played from the orange team. Able to pick up an attack on the kids' dorms bomb site. All right, we are on round number eight. And this is going to be a very important round for the blue team. Is once again, they are on match point. If they would like to continue this game, they are going to need to win this or they will be out. You can see that DK is going to be pushing in through Big Tower, his favorite spot. Hungry Hippo going to be downed as Valk is downstairs in classroom. Able to pick up that kill. He's going to be put onto about half HP, but most likely worth it. Prepped on the white window. Valk is going to run out and wow, some whiff shots, but Envy goes down. Benjamin with a refrag. Magical with another refrag as well. Benjamin is in the site. Valk's going to be pushing up the top white stairs right now. Will Benjamin be ready for it? So far, he is not. Valk rotating back into the dorms hall. Two minutes remaining. DK trying to push in through white along with magical. Benjamin able to hop out through that window somehow. And Soapy is in this 1v3 at the moment. He picks up two kills. Only one player remaining. It's going to be Benjamin on one health. Both players are low. Minute and 40 seconds left. Will Valk be able to win this clutch for the game here? Ooh. Benjamin doing a lot of damage on to Valk. Both players about one HP here. This is anybody's round. Minute and 30 seconds left. Soapy holding strong inside of the bomb site. Just waiting for the Ash to push in. The drone's gonna come out from Benjamin to try to gather some more information here, but the jammer coming out from Marco is going to stop that. Now, Soapy still holding this door as he doesn't need to do anything else. He might have some banshees as well, so he is perfectly good to sit here. A minute left though, so Benjamin has plenty of time. All he's got to do is shoot this guy one time. Going to rotate over towards the big window. Valk inside of the games hall right now. Trying to watch the white stairs. He's unsure of where Benjamin is even coming from at the moment. But with 45 seconds left, Ash is going to have to make a decision soon. Bit of a standstill at the moment, but the repel. Soapy. 
thinking he hears it on the game's window, but it is not. Seems like Valk is unaware of where the Ash player is as he's sitting inside of games at the moment. 20 seconds left. He's going to get the Z thing. And wow, Benjamin's going to walk into a Banshee and take out Valk. What a great clutch. Both players on one health there. And walking into a Banshee, able to clutch that up as well. Very well played. Taking a look at that scoreboard. Valk on top, 6-4 and four for his team. Plus all the kills he had before the Rehost as well. Almost able to clutch out that 1v3. All right, it is 4-4. Four, four. What could you ask for here? What a perfect game so far. Benjamin going to be trying to go out for that run out for the two time. But unfortunately for him, none of the orange team is actually going to be here. But this is going to be our final round. Whoever takes this is the winner of this game. Benjamin still trying to run out and find some frags, but nobody is even there. It looks like... The attackers are going to be trying to do a front side take. You've got Pig on the Blitz at the moment. You also have Ash inside of Garage. So it definitely looks like we're going to have a front take at the moment. Valk able to pick up a nice kill onto DK. As he's solo entering in through Bunker. A second kill for Valk is he's going for his third under the smoke in the closet. But he's going to get taken out by Envy. Great shots by him. And now it is a 3v4. Make that a 2v4 as Tarzan's able to pick up another frag onto the blue team. The vigil goes down and now the blue team is not in a good spot whatsoever here as Pig on the Blitz is going to be a big problem. Both of these players do not have much to counter the Blitz besides these smoke grenades, but those are not going to last for the next two minutes. Now, unfortunately for Pig, it, it looks like he just got lagged out in the middle of a smoke grenade and wow i said there was nothing they could do about the blitz but he freezes inside of a smoke grenade and dies you literally cannot make that up if you tried envy still holding this rotate right now but he's not going to be able to pick up that frag as tarzan's a little quicker to the draw and now it is a 1v3 all up to magical to clutch up this game for his team this is it this is for the entire game here Marco inside of Freezer, trying to hold down these rotates. Tarzan on the laundry rotate. All they need is one of these players to plant. Magical able to pick up one kill. He's going for the second now, the Ash on the rotate. He's going to get it as well. Nice, it's a 1v1. This could be a huge clutch for the entire game here. Jay inside of the B-bomb site. He's holding an angle. He thinks the player might be in Freezer, but he's going to hear where he is. And wow, a trade! Could you ask for a closer game? A trade on the final kill of the final round. GG. Because Magical is on defense and the bomb was not planted. The trade, the draw goes towards the defense team. And that will be Magical picking up an insane 1v3 clutch for the entire game. Take a look at the scoreboard. Valk 8-5. Magical six and four, the two top players for each team. And wow, what a game.